All right, <clears throat> we're back with more <coughs> uh, Ocarina of Time. And uh, last time we left off, we were in Elden Volcano. Uh, but I don't think we need to be here. I actually think we need to go back to Durana's room. Wait, zip. Anyway, yeah, so I think we gotta go back to Durani's room. I might be wrong, but... Uh... I figure, whatever, it's worth a shot. Because I don't think there's anything we can do in that main room back in Death Mountain right now. And we wanna go this way. And yeah, because Durani's room opened up after we caught the little Goron, and the shop down there also opened up, but there's nothing in the shop I need. So, um, I think, I think we just want to head into Durani's place, and I think there's a door back there? I'm not 100% sure though. But, let's find out. <sighs> Um, no, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Huh. I guess not. Oh, hold on, wait. Honestly, this really looks like it should move. But I guess not. Um, let's go back and talk to the little Goron. should be just up here. Yeah, I see him. Not that way. Uh, if I can't figure out what to do, I'll just pause the recording for a second and figure it out, and then I'll, I'll resume the recording. Oh, oh, come on, I just saw him. Where, where'd he go? Oh, okay. Try to move the statue inside Dad's room. Okay, I was right. I guess we could, we could check the Goron shop, see if there's anything useful. Just a bunch of bombs and hearts. Okay, nothing I need. Alright, well, it looks like I was right about moving the statue. <clears throat> Maybe we just had to talk to him first. Can't push it from that side. Oh, there we go. Figured it out. Yay. I didn't have to do anything. Alright. Well, now we're down here on the other side of those boulders, which is where we wanted to be. Because I think to get the this boulder out of the way and these boulders out of the way, you need the hammer. I don't think we can get those. I don't think we can blow those up. I think it's the same with this boulder over here. I think we need the hammer. All right, and grappling hook. Uh, 
There we go. Ah, chic. <coughs> it is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Belor of Fire. Bol Bol Bolero of Fire. Down A, down A, right down, right down. You have learned the Belor Bolero of Fire. Adam, I'll see you again. Alright, well, now we have two warp warp zones, I guess you could say. One takes us to... Um, one takes us to this place. The other one takes us to the forest. Just checking to see if there's anything under that bridge. I don't think there's anything else we need right now, so... Let's just head inside, shall we? Get another dungeon over with. Get one step closer to the end of the game. I do believe after this dungeon, the next dungeon is the Water Temple. Wow, I caught that ladder just inches away from injuring myself. Anyway, yeah, I think the next dungeon after this one is the Water Temple. Okay, well, lock the door, open door, open door, <clears throat> I think we want to go through this one first. Never mind. Well, let's talk to this guy. Please don't eat me. If you eat something like me, you'll get a stomach ache. You'll be sorry. It's okay, Goron. I'm not gonna eat you. I'm not, not Volvagia. Alright. And we got a statue there that we can't do anything with. So I guess we do go through this door over here. Ah, Durania. Who's there? Is that you, Adam? Oh, it really is Adam. You've grown so big since I last saw you. You want I want to have a man man to man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on the Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon Volvagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. If that fire breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer. But I have no choice. Adam, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoners' cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you. I wonder how he got through that locked door. Anyway, I guess we'll go back. 
We don't have a key yet, though. Okay, hold on. Uh, well, we could grapple across over here, so... Can I make that jump? Yep. 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 There we go. Whoops. Didn't mean to grab both the fairy. Well, actually, do I even have an... No, I don't have an open bottle, so it doesn't matter. Okay, well... That was what was up there. Uh, is there anywhere else in this room we can go? We can hop across over to that button. So I guess that's where we're gonna go. Alright, um... So Breath of the Wild isn't far away, which is exciting. I know I talk about this pretty much every time, but... Uh, tomorrow is Friday, for me. As the, right now, as I'm recording this, it is Thursday, but tomorrow will be Friday. And that means Breath of the Wild will only be a week away. In order to get into the room where Durana and I went, you have to do something about the pillars stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to a room above the ceiling right away. And that is one Goron saved. You found a small key. This key will open a locked door. Blah, 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 blah. Now we can go across the hallway where Durana and I said the prisoners were. And we've got a room full of lava, moving platforms, and lots of, lots of fire bats. And another locked door. And... There we go. Yes, you can walk on this lava very briefly and not take damage. Which I always found somewhat interesting. Okay, and we need our bombs for this. There we go. A walled over door. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop to do the job. You found a small key. Yay. Alright. Now we can open that locked door back there. go. That was actually much quicker than the other way I did it. And there's something else over there, so let's go check out what's over there real quick. Stupid bat. Leave me alone. Alright, and one. Uh, uh, there we go. We can disappear this, but, of course, I forgot the song again, so I gotta check. I know, I'm terrible. I keep forgetting the stupid songs. Anyway, Song of Time, right A down. Okay. Uh, 
There we go. Do 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 do. Now we can go in this door. No, oh no. The floor is possessed. Funny enough, this is actually something that happens in Zelda 3 a, l a lot more often than does happen in this game. Uh, right. And we've got a. a um, can't remember what it's called, but these things will eat your shield if you're not careful. Can I feed him a bomb? Nope. He's dead anyway. Yeah, these guys can eat your shield. It's very annoying. And if you don't get it back fast enough, you, you'll lose it permanently. You'll have to buy another one. Thrust at the wall. You destroyed a gold sculptula. You got a token proving you destroyed it. Okay. Now we'll move the block again so we can go down the in the door down there. There now let's go and see what's on the other side of this door. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Here's a secret for saving me. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron's special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. Thanks, Goron. Alright, and what do we have? Another key. Good thing I came this way or I would have missed out on that. Alright. And uh, now we just head back to the main bridge. Alright. And now we'll go through this door. nothing in there particularly that we need so let's go back up this and okay I think we'll just jump across here climb up this chain link fence link climbing a chain link fence <laughs> ha he ha he ah oh, you stupid bats Push it, Link. Push. There. Perfect. And here we are. Fire slugs. They kind of look like Pokemon. Uh. And those that's the switch that the Gorm was talking about, that we can hit with our sword or a bomb. I think we can also hit it with a bow. I wonder what, what it does. Okay. And it's timed. Alrighty. Um, 
push this block. There we go. Now, what? That deactivated fire, but I didn't see where it deactivated it. Okay, it deactivated fire up here. The fire that's getting in our way of climbing up this little chain link. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bomb out. Whoops. Almost blow myself up with it. No, I'm going to take a bomb out. Uh, the switch is down there, is it? <sighs> okay, here we go. Fine. I'll just do it this way then. Okay, Link can climb up that. Okay. Take a bomb out, drop it, and go. There we go. And now we'll have more than enough time to climb up this. <sighs> and uh, I just I, I probably already said this, but I do not plan on trying to 100% this. My f main focus really is just beating the game. In fact, this might... Some people might find this like irritating or something, but I've never actually 100%ed Ocarina of Time. As much as I like the game, I just have never been up to 100%ing it. I always just... I don't know. I like playing the game, but I don't really like going out of my way to look for every single thing. Some people love that sort of thing, uh, but me, I just like to play. I just like the the story and the adventure, not so much all of the extra exploring. Are you releasing me, my free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of these doors starts to fall, move. If you use a sample of the Goron special crop, you can break it. Uh, yay. Uh, yeah, I feel like this dungeon won't take me too long to complete. This isn't... This dungeon's definitely not as annoying as the forest temple. Or the water temple. Those are my two least favorite dungeons in this in this Zelda. Right, somewhere along this way was a door that was locked. I see it. There we go. All right. Let's open up that chain door or that uh, barred door over there. Alright. Like the desert temple doesn't even I doesn't even bother me nearly as much as the forest or the Yeah, the forest and the water temple. We got a chest. It's either the map or the compass. It's the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. All right. Well, we're gonna go back for now because we need another key. Can't get through the bar, the uh, chain door back there without the key. So let's go in here. There we go. Free another Goron. Let me tell you a secret as a reward for releasing me. When you are on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or by rolling forward. Did you know that? Yes, I, I, I know about the whole stop, drop, and roll thing. I learned that in kindergarten. Jeez. I learned that at the, in 
the Deku Trees Homeschooling Club in Cookery Forest when I was a child. Alright, now let's go back through this door over here. I should have just gone the other way first, but oh well. Now let's unlock. No, no! Link! Why? Alright, well. Time to head back. It won't take us too long to get back there, thankfully. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I just don't have the patience to really 100% this game. Okay, the boulder is still on it. And no, we can't climb up it. So I gotta climb the chain link fence, fence again. ceiling. Like we're playing Doom. Push the block again and do the whole bomb thing again. Alright. Push. Push it, Link. This is just just a little bit annoying. I'm sorry about this. It's just like the other dungeon when I got grabbed by the stupid wall master and thrown back to the beginning. There we go. No, Link. Link! You need to behave. Ah! Fuck! Alright. No! Sometimes auto jump drives me nuts. Which is something I'm excited about in the new Zelda. They took out auto jump. You jump on command now. You just press the X button or whatever button it is and you and Link jumps instead of automatically jumping every time you run off a ledge. And it's actually, it's, I believe it's the first 3D Zelda to have auto-jump. Because I think I said earlier on, but some of the other Zelda games actually had um, manual jumping. When you got a special item, you could make a link jump when you used it. Take it nice and slow. There we go. Yeah, you can make ju you can make Link jump by using like the rock's cape or the rock's feather or whatever it was called. Run! It's a firewall. It's an antivirus. And nailed it. Here we 
we go. Bomb the crack in the floor. Navi, come on. I already know that I can do this. There we go. Read the Goron that we saw earlier. Yes, I'm releasing you. Thanks, thanks for the tip. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron special crop. Thank you. Thank you. The Gorons are obsessed with bombs. They're like... There we go. Found another small key. I wonder where this could go. I actually I know where they I know where exactly where it goes. Great. The slug respawned. Stop giving me magic. I already I'm full on magic. Thanks. Navi, please. Thank you. I kept actually pushing up on the analog stick instead of down to use my bow. Alright, there's another Goron. Free. Free of this oppression.